Corporal Albright, a go-getter Marine who aspires to be a hero, is a newly graduated Marine who is first stationed at a United States Embassy in a Middle Eastern territory referred to as the Kingdom. The area is known to be fairly peaceful due to the U.S. Ambassador, Ambassador Cahill, who is known as the Peacekeeper. When Albright first arrives, he meets with Marine Corporal Hansen, who takes him to the Embassy. While on their way, Albright expresses concerns about the protesters around them, but Hansen tells him that there's nothing to worry about as they're all bark and no bite. When they get to the embassy's entrance, a mysterious man passes by the vehicle staring at Albright, but he doesn't think anything of it. Shortly after, the local guard leader Mohammed approaches them, and Hansen introduces Albright to him. Afterward, the two go inside, and Albright get acquainted with several other Marines, including Ski, Lopez, Stamper, Sunshine in addition to their superior Sergeant Gunny Rains, all of which seem fairly laid back. Albright is then directed to meet the ambassador and his staff, where he meets Krauss, head of security, and Olivia Winston, digital security director. Albright tries flirting with her, but Hansen lets him know that he's not the first one to try and that he won't get anywhere with her. Not long after, Blake Loriano, who works for the ambassador and is shooting footage for the embassy blog, comes over to them and introduces himself. He explains that he's filming everything and everyone to get thoughts on how it feels to work a world away from his country. He then asks Albright what he's learned so far, and he simply mentions a few specific things. Worship the ambassador, learn to like playing video games, guard post one, avoid the RSO and to not try to date the cute computer lady because that's apparently a lost cause. When he meets the ambassador, his purpose is to hold a book for the ambassador while he reads to local children. Albright is ambitious. He doesn't just want to be a Marine, he wants to be the best Marine. He's happy to serve but feels that guard duty, where his fellow jarheads spend their time watching football and playing video games, is beneath him. His cowboy antics and overeager attitude run afoul of his fellow Marines, who just seem to want to have a good time before their tour is over. While there are the daily protesters outside the gate to watch over, for the most part, everyone seems to be praising Ambassador Cahill's ability to maintain positive and peaceful relations with the locals. So, Albright finds his days filled with menial tasks like cleaning windows, delivering files, and holding a book for the ambassador as reads to a group of local children for a promotional photo op. During a training exercise where the local guard play as the militants, who have the ambassador trapped somewhere on the second floor of a building, the Marine's job is securing the ambassador's safety by working together. Albright diverts from the plan and goes about it by himself, which ultimately cost his squad's lives. Of course, this is just a training exercise but the point is, Albright acted out of line, and for that, everyone is pissed. Moreover, he is berated by Gunny, who makes it clear that he doesn't always have to be first, because sometimes being a good Marine means coming in last. One day, while observing the daily protesters from the roof of the embassy, Albright notices some strange behavior outside the embassy gates. He spots a suspicious cameraman, who he remembers seeing when he first arrived at the embassy. He tells his fellow Marines there's something eerie about that cameraman, stating he was filming them, but they just brush him off saying he's with Al Jazeera or something, trying to get the people's perspectives. So Albright does some research and finds that the man was not part of a news crew and is likely a rebel militant. He brings this information straight to the ambassador who ignores the claims of this man existing. When Albright keeps insisting on the matter, the ambassador asks what Krauss and Gunny had to say about it. And that's when he reveals that he didn't inform them first, which was supposed to be his duty. Both Krauss and Gunny get angry at Albright as he broke the chain of command. And in response, Gunny performed a fake kidnapping on Albright. Gunny confronts him for his reckless decision and says that Krauss won't even take his report seriously because he went over his head to tell the ambassador first. Gunny says he knows Albright's tragic story, that he never knew his dad, his mom's overdose, and him bouncing in and out of foster care with people moving him from school to school. Gunny says Albright think it's him against the world all the time, but reassures him that he won't be doing that here. Later, while at a bar, Olivia confronts Albright about this suspected man, stating he is Khalid al-Asiri, who is from a militant group with loose ties to ISIS. She tells him he was a mastermind behind countless jihadi attacks throughout the kingdom, and just last month, he sent his younger brother to perform a suicide bombing at a location north of their position, which killed over 60 innocent people. Albright then asks why everyone seems so convinced that it wasn't him that he saw, that she lets him know that's because he was suspected dead two weeks ago from a drone strike. 
After Olivia leaves, Hansen comes over to apologize about the fake kidnapping, but Albright assures him he didn't take it personally. Later, while Albright is guarding the ambassador's offices, Kraus comes in with a local and refuses to sign him in, stating he has an appointment with the ambassador. Shortly after, Lopez comes and asks Albright what's going on. Albright tells him about the local and how Kraus refused to sign him in, but Lopez assures him that's probably because he is still mad at him. Regardless, Albright suspects something is amiss and when he looks at the security cameras, he sees a commotion outside where there's a suspicious vehicle with Khalid al Asiri nearby. He contacts Mohammed through a walkie-talkie and asks him to take a closer look. When Albright zooms in on the security cameras, he notices Khaled and immediately runs outside, warning Mohammed that it's all a setup and to get away from the vehicle. Mohammed and the local guard immediately start firing at the vehicle as it starts heading for the embassy gate. Meanwhile, Gunny hears the gunshots and gets up to find out. Soon after, everyone is aware of what is going on. Merely firing on the vehicle wasn't enough, and so, it rams the embassy gate and explodes, destroying the gate and allowing a group of militant rebels into the embassy grounds. Albright informs Gunny and the other Marines that the front gate has just exploded and are facing multiple hostiles. Gunny orders him to get to the safe room where they'll meet. Meanwhile, the local guard get taken out and Muhammad, though injured, escapes in the nick of time as the militants begin advancing. The Marines begin to suit up while Kraus and his men and Albright and Ski go out to defend. Kraus, his men, and Ski all get killed, while Albright retreats into the embassy. The ambassador and his staff all begin to gather documents and hard drives, and proceed to retreat further to reach the incinerator all while Blake is filming everything. Albright, meanwhile, is defending the front offices, and gets pinned down but is saved by the rest of the Marines. Gunny acknowledges that Albright's suspicions were true. The Marines meet with the rest of the ambassador and his staff, and inform them of their losses. Albright tells the ambassador that Khaled al Asiri isn't dead. The the group then decides to retreat to a safe room. Once the safe room is reached, it is revealed that the local who Kraus brought in is Jamal al Asiri, the brother of Khalid. Albright's then says they're here for him too, which he replies it's for all of them. The Marines then ask why he's here, and Jamal reveals that he is there to tell them that the drone strike failed, and now his wife, children, and all his family are now in danger due to his brother not dying in the strike, which he provided the coordinates for. Marine Corps Special Forces, or MARSOC, led by Major Lincoln, is coming to provide backup. Gunny makes contact and informs Major Lincoln that they are completely overrun and held up in the safe room with the ambassador, a few of his staff, and a handful of his marines. Lincoln tells him to keep the safe locked down until they get there, but informs him that it will likely take an hour. They look through the security cameras and witness the militants going through everything in the offices. Albright asks what they're trying to accomplish, and Jamal speaks up, saying that they want to show America and its allies the face of what they have caused. He explains that his brother didn't just wake up one day and decided to hate the West, that it's because they believe America is is the terrorist. Just then, Khaled speaks into the camera, saying he knows they are listening to him. He states that even though they think they are under attack from evil invaders, it's his home that they have invaded. He then talks about his brother being poisoned by them. Khaled makes it clear that Jamal is their enemy too before shooting the camera. Afterward, Jamal states that Khaled knows he provided the intel for the drone strike, and this is revenge for him against all of them. The ambassador tells the Marines of a piece of evidence they were unable to delete, Khaled's cell phone, which contains information on Khaled's entire organization. This piece of evidence is located in a safe in the ambassador's residence. Hansen, Gunny, Lopez, Albright, and Olivia all leave to retrieve the cell phone. Gunny and Hansen will go to the roof to provide covering fire, while Lopez, Albright, and Olivia all dash to the residence. Before separating, Gunny tells Albright that when a Marine goes down on duty, they call it an act of valor, but a civilian at the U.S. Embassy is a national tragedy. Given that Olivia is a civilian, Gunny says to Albright that it's not just just him against the world no more. Gunny and Hansen get in position, and Albright informs Gunny that they in place as well. Albright instructs Olivia and Lopez that when the door opens, they're going to run and keep running until they hit the residence. Meanwhile, Mohammed comes back with a backup of his own in the Royal Guard Ops. They quickly begin to overwhelm the enemy, which Khaled takes note of. Now that they have good cover, Gunny instructs Albright's group to move. At the residence, Lopez and Albright fight two men while the Royal Guard arrives to provide assistance to defend the embassy. Olivia tries to open the safe, but the lock is broken from the militants trying to get in. Militant reinforcements arrive and take out the Royal Guard Ops. Khaled finds Muhammad down, succumbing to
bleeding to his wounds and finishes him. Gunny orders Albright to retreat, but he ignores him as Olivia tries to open the safe. They become overwhelmed by the enemy force, but they are able to adequately defend as Olivia can finally open the safe after she knocks it to the ground. While Lopez, Albright, and Olivia begin to retreat to the safe room, an RPG is shot at Gunny, and he is unfortunately killed. The ambassador then puts Albright in charge of this situation. Olivia reveals the contents of the safe included a large sum of money, as that is how the ambassador was able to keep peace and burns the cash to keep it out of the militant's hands. Albright orders everyone to meet in the back entrance of the embassy, due to the safe room ventilated with smoke from the RPG explosion. The plan is to meet the Marsoc forces at the Alma Frock Stadium, 10 blocks from the embassy. When the two groups meet, Stamper gets killed as they escape. As they fight their way out into the streets, they get pinned down in a restaurant with Sunshine getting shot in the face. Albright instructs Jamal to take a propane tank with him as they further retreat into the basement. Hansen and Lopez get shot in the basement while they have a final confrontation with Khaled. Jamal asks for a gun, saying he wants to help. So Jamal begins to fight Khaled's forces with Albright. Albright then ends Khaled and his forces when he shoots the propane tank he had strategically placed. Marsak and Major Lincoln arrive and the ambassador is finally safe. The wounded get treated, and Lincoln thanks Albright for his bravery, saying Gunny would be proud. In the end, Albright becomes Staff Sergeant Albright in charge of the Marines at the Embassy. And with that, the movie ends. We hope you enjoyed our video. Watch the next recaps on the screen and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing recaps. See you in the next one.